Bruno Grantham, eu acabei que ele ia abrir uma mão dos exigentes, que isso aí se vai em 35, se não é que tem que estar. Então, por isso, 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 All right, but beyond that, uh, looking just in terms of the market structure of this first, we're talking about S&P 500 and NASDAQ itself. So both of which form uh, actually slightly different. We do follow a rate spinning candlestick for the S&P 500, but what I mentioned, one very good thing that I did notice over here, actually consolidating extremely nicely. Uh, in terms of daily chart, uh, yeah. I did mention that we are consolidating very nicely here, which is previously very consolidated as well. So we did adopt this could form a double top formation and we could see a very drastic drop. But bear in mind that by spending more time over here, it reduces the risk of a double top formation in my opinion, because it's forming somewhat like a bull flag kind of pattern, whereby we do form that, then there's a tendency that we will be more likely to break towards the upside, especially when we consolidate right within the resistance or support, both between resistance and support region itself. And then we also got a key dynamic resistance, which is the 200 explanation moving average on the daily chart itself. Yep, so until we break towards a particular direction, then I would be more likely to take towards the direction of the highest. Otherwise, tentatively, if I'm not choosing neutral, I would choose towards bullish simply because of the fact that we are forming, we are coming to this area of existence from one point of strength itself. All right, if you look away in terms of Nasdaq, why this way something slightly different? Instead of consolidating right over here near the support region itself, we actually continue towards the upside. But if you look on the similarity behind, we actually now fall bring below the 200 exponential moving average, which is why it's happening for S&P 500 as well. So perhaps some sort of a weak pullback or healthy pullback would be a good thing, especially if we retest this 20 exponential moving average when it comes up next week itself, and then we could have a continuation to the south side. Or alternatively, what I actually do prefer is that we actually have a big drop over here, then we consolidate over here, top over here, or we keep time for this 20 exponential moving average to catch up. So that would be the most ideal case of my life to catch up. Consolidation over here, and then we have a much that we could to break towards upside as well. And moving on over to the ASHR itself, we are seeing a very nice bounce. So like I mentioned, the key thing is we are finding this bounce from this 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. So volume right now is still weak itself. The first thing I'd like to see is whether do we find resistance in this 20 exponential moving average. You can see that once we go below, we actually go mainly towards the downside. Similarly, once we found support over here, we tend to be also go towards the upside itself. So yeah, let's see how price tracks break when the price does reach towards that. All right, and then finally for KYSM, it's also slightly different. So I'll say a text right now looks very different. We do see a clear rejection of the 20 exponential moving average. We just react that support, 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 and then we break through it. And then we keep finding resistance over here before we will drop. So of course, right now we are facing a drop again. The question is, we do see the clear thing in terms of momentum. It's not exactly increasing itself. But of course, we can still see further low yet until we form a clear, that is a bullish market structure on the daily chart in order to potentially shift from momentum wise in my opinion. All right, and then finally for Bitcoin itself, we are definitely forming the seven consecutive break candlestick itself. That's not a very common sign to be frank, but you do see over here that we have three, one, two, three, four, so similarly seven candlesticks itself. But one clear thing is that we are seeing a decrease in volume quite clearly. Of course, you could be crossing towards negative bearish previously on the daily chart as well. So be a little bit cautious. But the reason why I enter on this current forward chart, we're consolidating over here. We have a very nice top of the 200 exponential mean average. And then we also have an MSD crossover over here. So a long entry will be somewhere along here. We'll stop loss right on the low over here. And the first time will be somewhere along this 24.3k region itself. So if it does hit that, then potentially I'll close half the position itself and then I'll write the remaining of the setup itself. All right, otherwise, that's more or less about it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to provide your comments below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.